this just into the Gallo Newsroom and welcome fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host Galadon and that's right, Supercell has just announced that at the next Clash of Clans update, global chat will be removed. But Galadon, you ask, this announcement came out hours ago. Why are you just now releasing a video about it? And I'll tell you why. It's because it took me about two hours of recording globals before I was able to find one that I didn't have to censor every other line and delete tons of messages. So, yes, global chat has been, for a long time, kind of this place where it's like 80% garbage and 20% useful. Unfortunately, it seems like in recent days it's become mostly just a place for predators, for scammers, and for YouTubers seeking atten attention. Uh, but, but anyway, so yes, Global is going to be removed from the game, which of course means it's going to get harder to fill clans and to find clans. So, along with this announcement, Supercell did announce that in the next update they will be improving the clan search tool, the way that you find a clan that fits what you are looking for. Now that, in and of itself, may not be enough, so my suggestion as well is to check out Discord. I have a Discord server, discord.gg slash Gaming. You can come and join it, you can look for clans, you can talk to other Clash enthusiasts, and since I did used to give out gold passes in Global, apparently now I'm going to have to start giving out some gold passes that means iTunes and Google Play gift cards to people on my Discord server. So again, the server is on the screen, discord.gg slash Galadon Gaming. And the irony is that I could never advertise my Discord server in global because there's a dong in my name. Yes, Galadon Gaming. And uh, so it always got bleeped out. I mean, ding dong, I don't understand. It's a doorbell. Anyway, so yes. Global is gone, or is going to be gone at the next update, and will it be missed? By some, yes. But here's the thing, and this is the way I look at it. If deleting Global prevents even one case of abuse that could happen out there in real life, then it's worth it, okay? I do think that, and I do think that it's likely that things like that happen. I don't even want to go into the possible morbid details of the things that could take place because of a global chat, because of strangers talking to each other, it sometimes does not go well. And I mean, the internet can be a dark place. So no more global. Now my caveat, my warning to you is that if you have a clan that's set to anyone can join, you might want to switch it to invite only because I think that we're going to see an increase in the botter type, weird scammer type people that try to join clans and try to trick people into losing their accounts. And again, secure your account with a secure email using Supercell ID and don't ever give anybody your personal information, including a clan member. All right, including a clan member, do not give that information out. All right, join my Discord server, that is it. That's the end of this video. What, not 10 minutes, that's right, because this is just the news. Have a great day, thank you guys for watching. I will be back again tomorrow, of course, with another Clash of Clans video. In the meantime, you can check out my live stream at fb.gg slash realgaladongaming. Now have a great day, and I will see you guys tomorrow or tonight on the stream for more Full Attacks. Don't, don't worry about it, Peter.